Hi, I'm Justin. I'm 20 years old, a college student, an artist, and a millennial. So it seems fitting that I should narrate this video about the Millennial Voter Forum in Charlotte, North Carolina. What is the Millennial Voter Forum? Well, last Wednesday, Ajamu Baraka, vice presidential candidate for the Green Party, along with surrogates from the other presidential campaigns, all got together to speak directly with millennial voters. Come on, millennials! Woo! On behalf of the Trump campaign, Mr. Trump's daughter-in-law, Laura, gave a spiel. We have never heard anything negative about Donald Trump until the past year. So we have to have law and order. Donald Trump wants to lower taxes and reduce regulations on businesses across the board. Honestly, if I hadn't turned away from Laura's shining face, I probably would have thought the room was empty. I think the audience was in the mindset that the Trump campaign's positions weren't worth dignifying with the response. By comparison, the crowd was in uproar for Ms. Clinton's representatives. Nearly everything New York State Assemblyman Michael Blake and North Carolina Senator Jeff Jackson said was met with retorts from the audience, whether it was about her ties to corporate interests, Okay. Um, her treatment of minorities, about that. Now, I hear the point about super predators. or her shady history as Secretary of State. What about Honduras and Haiti? The audience was clearly fed up with Ms. Clinton's dishonesty, but they were much more approving for the third party candidates. Actress Melissa Joan Hart spoke on behalf of Gary Johnson, and while some of the things she said resonated with the audience, the two party system has got us in a chokehold. And it's time we tell the Democrat and Republican parties that we want more choices. Other things she said left a sour taste in millennials' mouths. And uh, basically he, he would like to get rid of the federal loans. When he was asked about Aleppo, he had a brain short circuit while responding. I mean, really, how does getting rid of some of the least predatory loans available for students help them? And seriously though, Aleppo? The only attendee to the forum actually on a presidential ticket was Ajamu Baraka, vice presidential candidate for the Green Party. Clearly, the attendees were appreciative. I'll just let Mr. Baraka speak for himself. Uh, making the uh, bodies of women a political football in a political race is outrageous. We have a fundamental um, obligation to respect the human rights of undocumented people. We say that that debt should be eliminated. <laughs> not forgiven, not renegotiated, but eliminated completely. I think the fact that Mr. Baracko was the only presenter to receive a standing ovation speaks for itself about the level to which what he said resonated with the audience. After having the per chance of personally listening to, to Mr. Ajamu Baraka, I have to say, I think he struck the biggest chord with me. Moreover, it speaks to a unanimous discontent for the duopoly that is dominating our political system. As a 17-year-old, I look at the two candidates, the two major party candidates that we see in this election, and I see that they're both flawed in their character and in their platforms. Among millennial voters, the consensus is clear. Simply put, we need change. We deserve a better future, and we demand another option.